So recently I went from iPhone to Pixel and one thing that I found out is Pixel might be the best Android phone out there but still the animations on Pixel are not as smooth as it is on iPhone. Using social media apps like Instagram and Facebook, the iPhone really gets the scrolling right. While every Android phone I've used is just like working really hard to scroll up the pages. We are in 2018 right now. Android phone has like uh, 8 GBs of RAM but still the frame rate of animations and the animation itself doesn't quite look good on Android. While the iPhone has always been praised for its smooth and flawless performance. Why hasn't Android got this mess right? Hey there this is Pakhtun Geek, let's talk about Android. <laughs> One of the things that really stands out using an iPhone is just how smooth it feels compared to using Android. Whereas Android is laggy with a measurable in term between when you touch the screen and when the OS responds. iOS almost seems to anticipate what you want to do before your finger touches the display. Actually Android was originally designed to be general purpose computing platform while iOS was designed from the ground to give a smooth responsive user interface. At a very fundamental level iOS was designed to be pretty and responsive above all else while Android was primarily designed to be functional and flexible iOS is pretty much a single product running on a single restricted range of hardware built from custom chips the hardware and software are literally designed to play well together Android is designed to be a general solution that runs on a wide variety of hardware chipsets but at the cost that it can't possibly be optimized for every individual configuration. But how has Apple achieved this smoothness? Can just Google do that too? The answer is kinda no. According to an ex-Google intern, Android is so messed up that Google might never be able to match an iPhone or iPad's performance. Most modern Android phones have specs equivalent or even better than iPhone. Few of them have like 6 or 8 GBs of RAM, but still they are unable to perform as smooth as an iOS device. The problem is not somehow hardware related, but more of software related. In iOS, UI rendering processes occur with dedicated threads in real time priority, halting all other processes and focusing all attention on rendering the UI. In Android, UI rendering processes processes occur along with the main thread with normal priority. In other words, it treats rendering UI the same way as it would say downloading a podcast in a background, checking SMSs or anything else. That is why it has a choppy UI. So you might be thinking why hasn't Google just changed the UI framework? Well, it's a risky task that would involve every app on Android market to be rewritten to support the new framework. In other words, for Google to ever fully deal with Android's lag problems, it needs to basically hit the reset button and destroy its app ecosystem. iOS on the other hand was built from the ground to support multi-touch smartphones. But there's something else, touch responsiveness also has to do with hardware. The iPhone and iPad are capable of tracking not only gestures but also precise contact points and pressure levels. All of these combined with a rendering method that prioritizes this goal. This is why users feel like screens on iOS not only follow but literally stick to fingers. No matter how subtle the gesture is, it's what Apple does. However, I expect Android to get progressively better to a point where hardware and software improvements will eventually close the gap. So these were my thoughts about this issue. If you have some thoughts and opinions, please drop them in the comment section below. If you like this video, please hit the thumb up. If you love this video, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. Don't forget the bell icon. You will get notification to my every latest video. So that was all for today. See you in the next video. Signing out. Peace.